I can't trust this guy. Why they use that picture? What's he hiding? Traders and investors were back. So, you know we gotta talk about Hylion, because they're talking about our things. They're talking about Kit, and I design Kit. Mm. Seems like we've been here before a lot. Oh yeah. So we got rejected at the 22. That's been a level that was set back in here. And we broke through it over in here, but I mean, we've been just quite under the weather for some time now. But we haven't really had any news. No updates. We got some updates. So let's jump in. So let's unpack this. They didn't give us much. I'm still really waiting for the day that get enough information that I can actually run some numbers, you know, figure out what kind of energy output, you know, what kind of energy density their packs have, uh, you know, what it's capable of powering. Because, you know, it's all good and fine to say that, oh, we have this new technology and it's, where is it? And you say that's a 40% better performer and cooling and stuff and things. You know, that's all good and fine, but I'm a numbers guy. I like to be able to actually quantify what I'm looking at. And it's really hard to calculate, you know, energy density and, and watt hours when all they're telling us is that it's an LTO system and just this minimal amount of information here. But... It gives us something to go off of. Maybe it doesn't get my nerd juices going because I can't do the maths, but we'll get there one day. So quickly before we dive into this, let's talk about what an LTO battery is. And so LTO essentially, it's just like anything else, right? It's a, it's a lithium polymer, but it's not, it's a different kind of lipo. It's using uh, tantanate oxide. Seems to be a little bit more exotic, a little bit newer thought it was interesting that the cell voltage is only 2.3 volts so you know traditional uh, lithium cell is going to be about 3 volts 3.3 somewhere in there so this is on the lower range of that which is kind of interesting with any chemistry change there's trade-offs so i think what they were going for here with the lto basically is it allows for very rapid charging but the energy density isn't quite there so some of your other lipos uh, lithium cells, you can get chemistries that have extraordinary energy density. However, those are very dangerous. They have protection circuits, you know, embedded in the batteries themselves sometimes, just because it, they are extremely volatile, and if they rupture, they can explode. You know, there's a lot of energy packed into them. However, I think the reason that they decided to go with this is because they're going to be constantly charging and discharging these batteries you know, they don't need the bang for your buck, you know, power source that's going to last a long time, you know, just on one go. They would rather have something that's robust that they can charge and discharge in a rapid manner a number of times and not really have to worry about it so much. At least that's what I'm thinking. That's what would make sense. And if that's the case, you know, the fact that they're not 3.7, 3.3 volts and they're only 2.4 isn't a very big deal, right? Because you're going to get on average about six to twenty thousand cycles out of these a traditional lithium ion you can see here you know, is about I don't know 400 is pretty low but definitely you know around 1200 a thousand six hundred cycles somewhere in there you know is about how many charge cycles you can get out of a lithium battery so the the lifetime is immensely longer on these but the energy density isn't quite there but again like we just said you know if you have these things set up in a in a massive battery bank, well then it doesn't really matter. You just put more in series, put more in parallel to get your voltage, to get your current, you know, and Bob's your uncle. And so uh, what's interesting is uh, not only have they done uh, the chemistry change, but they're calling out here, where is it? Is it longer life, capable of five times as many charge cycles as a conventional EV battery? I'll agree. High charging rates. So with improved heat dissipation, this allows for rapid charging and discharging. So not only is this battery chemistry made for rapid charging, you know, however, they've put it into this unique form factor here, which I wish I could lift the skirt, baby, you know it. But, you know, we got some metal, and it all looks fairly solid. So, you know, that's acting as a heat sink in a way. 
and I'm sure they have some sort of cooling system in there because they've said specifically here that uh, the improved heat dissipation allows for much higher charging and discharging rates of the battery you know, over a longer sustained power output. Because the batteries can be charged in eight minutes. That's you know, unprecedented. Now, can you recharge your Hylion vehicle in eight minutes? I don't think so. No, not necessarily. They certainly don't call that out here. You know, however, I think if under an ideal circumstance, if you're just charging a single cell, if you can get anywhere in that neighborhood, that's pretty extraordinary in itself. I mean, the safe charging rate for a lithium cell is about 0.75C, which is why you're used to, you know, plug it in your phone and it takes about an hour, hour and a half for it to charge from dead to full, right? Because if it was at 1C, then it would just be a flat hour. So the charge rate for these is a lot faster, you know, as we've talked about. But it remains to be seen exactly how much faster. And again, let me know if this is interesting. We can dig into it a little bit deeper. And then delving in more of the safety that we were talking about, this new modular design reduces the operating temperature of the cells, allowing for a safer operating environment. So when you're constantly charging and discharging these batteries, I mean, they're going to be dissipating heat. If you can mitigate the heat dissipation, in a meaningful way, then it obviously will improve the speed and the efficiency that you can charge and discharge these batteries and in turn it'll extend the lifetime of them, right? Anyways, that is it. I'll link this in the down there if you want to check it out. That is a lot more than you'll get out of just reading this. So hit the thing, do the stuff, follow me on the stuff and things if you don't. Join the Discord and I'll catch you in the next one, traders.